morning, day 123 of my hike. And as you can see, I'm not on trail, but it is uh, still part of my uh, continuous footpath from Mexico to uh, Canada. So presently I'm on Highway 46 and uh, it's not a busy road. Thank goodness, because it's got no shoulders to it. A uh, bit of a recap of yesterday. We hiked about four miles of the PCT uh, to the closure and uh, the Lion's Head closure. Then we took Hunts Creek uh, turn off trail, which turned into Camellia Lake Trail. Got down to the trailhead there. So that was uh, three miles. So four miles on the PCT, three miles down to uh, Pamelia uh, Trailhead, then another four miles to Highway 22, and that four miles was on pavement. And then from there we went uh, 12 miles on uh, Highway 22, which was super busy, but thank goodness it had a wide shoulder. And uh, yeah, because that would have been hell if it uh, didn't have shoulders on it. Uh, and we got to, oh, I forget the name of the little, well, it wasn't on, not even a town, it was a grocery store where we picked up uh, some Gatorade and ice cream and all that sort of stuff. Honey bun, yeah. Uh, and then we, from there, we just continued on to uh, Detroit, where there was a hot dog wagon and a grocery store. So I picked up a tall, tall boy, of course, with uh, had a hot dog with all the fixins, and uh, it wouldn't have been complete unless we had a tub of uh, Ben and Jerry. So that went along there too. So that was that went down pretty good. Uh, from there, we got on to this road, 46, walked four miles to Humbug Campground, where we spent the night. And uh, so that was like 20 miles of pavement yesterday, which wasn't the greatest. My partner's uh, feeling it in the knees even more, so hopefully it'll work itself out for them and uh, right now we're hoofing her up to a road 4220 and I'm assuming that's a gravel road not positive but I'm pretty sure it is and that will take us to Brighton Bush Lake and which will hook us onto the PCT again and we'll make our way up to Alali Lake. So that's the plan for today, roughly about 24 miles to Alali. And that would be great if we could get there. And then there would be another, I believe it's another two days to Timberline, where we're gonna spend the night and then wake up to a breakfast buffet all you can eat so weather's kind of great for hiking although it's you know it's totally exposed here on the highway and walking under a power line as you can see what's with this steel stuff they never heard of wood so i'll just carry on it's 25 after 8 so i gotta hike another hour before i can have my second breakfast Looking forward to that with a cup of coffee. Uh, and we'll have to find some water somewhere too. So, anywho, we'll carry on and we'll talk to you later.
See you later. Well, good afternoon. It's well, it's 20 after three. Had a pretty good lunch back there at a found a little creek just off the road, and um, yeah, had a good lunch there with uh, Red Panda. We've been just walking pavement all along. Although we did uh, cut across one corner, shortened it up a little bit. Um, a switchback that we did cut across, did a little bit of bushwhacking, wasn't too bad, and ended up on uh, 42, no, 4690, and that's what we're walking right now, it's like a chip seal road, so basically pavement, and I don't know how far we're going to get today, but uh, probably another three hours. So, hopefully that'll do for uh, us uh, setting up the next couple of days. And uh, we'll just take it from there. Oh, there's a bit of camping right there. That would have been good. But we got to put in the miles, so. Anyway, we'll carry on. Talk to you later. Bye.